Too often we get caught up in the cult of the new. It's an issue, a real issue. And so my top games of 2017 are, I just think it makes sense. Like every, everybody's doing top games of 2022 and 2021 and everybody's talking about the same stuff. I want to get pay homage to games from five years ago. So, scrolling through some BGG and looking at the top games of 2017. Because everybody says five years old is the new one month new. That's what they say. That's what they say. Curiously enough, this is a pretty good year, to be honest. Uh, top of the list is Gloomhaven. Gloomhaven came out in 2017. Yeah, so I love Gloomhaven. I think it's really good. Deserves to be up there on the top games of 2017 as we talk about it in 2022. Solid pick. Solid pick. Love the card play. Love the strategy. Love the online digital adaptation. So good. Need to start Jaws of the Lion. Need to play the main campaign more than I've done just digitally. I need to play the physical copy, but... Gloomhaven, such a good one. Twilight Imperium, 4th edition. 4th edition cleans up quite a bit from 3rd edition. Streamlines a lot. Twilight Imperium, 4th edition, 2017. So good. So it's starting off crazy good. Crazy good. So those are like, immediately those two are on my list. Top games of 2017. Gaia Project, haven't played it. So it's not on my list. Spirit Island, I've played it, but it's not on my list. Um, those are both, you know, well-loved games, not on my list. Too many bones, too many bones coming in at number five on the list, even though it's, you know, 39 overall, but number five on this list of 2017 games. Love too many bones. I uh, really good. Um, hard to get into if you haven't been in it in a while. Like I need to jump back into it, but it's going to take a little bit because it's got kind of like a high rules overhead. But man, too many bones is fun when you're into it. Anachrony, super fun game, very brain burny. Definitely want some uh, want to play it again, but need some people to play it with. I played it like by myself the first time around. Whew. So yeah, Gloomhaven. Super solid. Twilight Imperium 4th Edition. No to Gaia Project. No to Spirit Island. Too Many Bones. Woof. Good one. Anachrony. Super solid. Love Anachrony. We're going to also skip Pandemic Legacy Season 2 and Clans of Caledonia. Lisboa. I don't want to skip it, but I haven't played it. Azul. I'm going to skip it. Seventh Continent. I'm going to skip it. I'm going to skip it. Uh, Clank in Space, I'm going to skip it. Aeon's End War Eternal, I'm going to skip it. Most of these are because I haven't played these versions of them. Um, Quest for Eldorado, I played that, but I'm going to skip it. Rajas of the Ganges, I'm going to skip it. This War of Mine, the board game, I don't want to skip that one. I want this one to be on the list because I think it's one that I would absolutely love. But I haven't played it, so I'm going to skip it. I'm going to skip Sagrada. Uh, and I'm going to skip Dinosaur Island. I'm going to skip Near and Far. I'm going to skip Codenames Duet. I'm going to skip Century Gollum Edition and Pulsar 2849. Guys, there's a lot of good games in 2017. What a good year to start this off with. Man, 2017 top games are, are going strong right now. There's Fantasy Realms on here, Ethnos, Nemo's War, another game I want to play, Century Spice Road, Heaven and Ale, Baron Park, Bunny Kingdom. Alta Plano, this is like this is a pretty solid list. News for Downforce, uh, the Godfather Corleone's Empire, which I haven't played but I own and I want to play. Uh, Sword and Sword, Dice Forge. I need to see where the next one I've played is, guys. Sidereal Confluence is on there. Haven't played that. Am I just gonna have four? Am I just? I might just have four on this list, guys. This might be a very short top games of 2022, but 2017. Mmm, 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 mmm. I'm going deep for this. Battle for Rokugan is on there. Um, Where Words, Lovecraft Letter, Istanbul the Dice Game. Oh, Talk. Oh, and Black Sonata. Okay, we're good. 
We're good. I'm going to put in talk for the abstract of the year. Uh, tack or talk, tack or talk, tack talk, talk tack. Sounds like a TED talk, a talk tack, tack talk. So I'm going to add tack in there as a good abstract. Uh, Alex taught me that game, really, really like it. So, And then also I'm going to put in Black Sonata for a solo play. So let's see. Let's go back to this. Devin's top games of 2017 discussed in 2022. Gloomhaven is going to win best strategy game of the year. That's what's going to happen, 100%. Uh, best strategy game of the year. Twilight Imperium 4th Edition is going to win uh, best big box experience. Um, Twilight Imperium 4th Edition is going to win best big box experience. Too Many Bones is going to win best production. Um, so best strategy game, Gloomhaven. Best big box experience. Twilight Imperium 4th Edition, Best Production, Too Many Bones, um, best, uh, best, heavy, best Heavy Strategy Game, Anachrony, um, yeah, or maybe Best, best Euro, uh, Anachrony. That's, that's going to be there on, on that list. And then let's drop down to the games that Devin actually was there for and knew. Those were those four that started it off. And then we're going to drop down to the stuff that I've actually done. So, uh, TAC, best abstract game, TAC or TOC. Uh, Black Sonata, best solo game of 2017. And then, uh, is that all we need? I think six is probably fine. Six is probably fine. You guys don't need me here for longer than that. You guys don't need me here for longer than that. But you know what? Let's just, for the sake of it, go on to the second page past ranking 1121. Just for the sake of of argument. Let's see what loads. Let, let's see what loads. Now. Now. Uh, Fog of Love's up there. Exit the Gate. Folklore the Affliction. Hmm. Betrayal at Baldur's Gate. Still some still some some recognizable titles here. Rum and Bones, Second Tide, Viral, Escape the Dark Castle. Um uh, Escape the Dark Castle. I'll put that. I'll put that as. I'll give that an award for 2017. I'll say. Uh, I'll say. Uh, best. Best art design. Best art design. Escape the Dark Castle. I'll give that an award for for Devin in 2017. Um, let's see what else we got here. What else we got? That's like seven games now. That's seven games we've gone over. John Company. I'm getting John Company and uh, Pax Premier. I'm getting those games in. I'm excited to do that. I'm excited to play that. Let's see, anything else that I know? Anything else that I know from 2017 that's at this stage in Iberian Gage? Oh, that's... I'm, I'm, I'm boring myself. I'm boring myself. I can't imagine what it's like for you guys. I can't imagine what it's like on your end. Um, I think I'm just going to stop at the end of this page if I don't see anything else. Yep, that was it. It's just seven games. Seven games for 2017. Maybe when I next year when I do the top games of 2018, I'll do eight games. But this year, for in 2022, the best games of 2017, there are seven games that, that win some awards and they get ranked in. And that's it. That's all you need for me, guys. That's all you need for me. Oh, God. Uh. Oh, my goodness, guys. It's been a day. The day isn't even halfway over, and it's already been a day. So, have a good one. I love you. When everybody's focusing on the new, sometimes be old with me. Be old with me. Oh, that's probably the best sign out I've ever done. Probably ever. Okay, good. I didn't turn on the top cam. You didn't need a top cam for that. Goodness knows you didn't even need the front cam for that. But it's not my fault. You're here.